Hi, welcome to Ramesh Soft video tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will discuss about so the very common question in the interview: how to remove duplicate elements, right? Now see here. So how to remove the duplicate elements from a dropdown, right? So as we know that if you want to work with the dropdowns, we have a predefined class in Selenium called the select class. And uh, in order to get all the elements from the dropdown, this select class is having a method called get options. Now, if you don't know about select class, please watch my previous video about select class. Class selector. This is having one method to get uh, all the elements from a dropdown. So, what is that method? Get uh, options. Get uh, options. So, whenever I call get options method. I am going to get uh, all the elements from a drop down, right? Now let me write a sample program. Now how to remove all those duplicate elements? We'll see. Let me create the class drop down test. Now let me write the main method. Now just after here, let me launch the Chrome driver. So to work with locally, we have these drivers provided by Selenium. Now, so web driver dot get off. I'm entering URL HTTPS colon double slash www dot Facebook dot com. Now see here in this Facebook, I want to get on all the elements and then we'll remove the duplicate elements, right? Now see here, let me open this browser and uh, open facebook.com so in the collection framework we'll talk end to end so what is list set map interface and how we can hold duplication a lot of things will start we'll talk now right click inspect now use what is that what is the id it is having pay right control c now what i'm doing just over here web driver dot find element by dot id i'm giving now it's going to identify the element in the dom and it returns all the identifies if it is returning multiple if it is identifying multiple elements it is going to return the first matching element so if it is only one then it returns first one okay. Now, say here on this, uh, right? This is my drop down. Now, if you want to work with the drop downs, we have a predefined class called what is that class? Select class. Let me create object for this select class is equal to new select. Now, on which drop down you want to perform the operations? On this drop down. That is, uh, whenever we create a select class object, this select class always asks you. On which drop down we want to perform the operations that drop down we need to pass as a part of web element right now from this uh, drop down I want uh, all the elements so for that we are having one method called what is that method get options method now it is going to return all that options on mean all that elements in the form of list right now I want to see how many number of elements is there in that drop down so number of elements in a drop down is plus list dot size now see here let me right click run as java application just up to here what i am doing now browser is open and then it's going to enter url now my web driver engine is going to check uh, is there any element in the DOM with a uh, ID is equal to day? Yes, uh, it identifies and it returns as a part of what web element. And then I created select class object and uh, which is going to be focused on drop down. On this drop down, I'm getting what, what is the method? Get the options. So it is going to get all the options from this drop down. See here how many options are there? How many elements are there in this drop down? 32 elements are there. Now is asking in that 32 if any duplicate element if any duplicate elements are there remove all that duplicate elements right 
so here i'm not using 1.8 for each loop okay so in coming videos we'll use 1.8 features lambda expressions functional interfaces colon colon operator so a lot of things are there we'll see okay now so i'm using normal for each loop for uh, now what i'm doing just over here web element something element colon from where you want to iterate the values list right now see here so my get options method is always returning what list interface object right it means uh, get options method is not returning list interface object it is creating and returning list interface implementation class object right now so what is a list uh, list is an interface which is a child interface of collection interface so whenever you want to hold up on a group of homogeneous and heterogeneous then we can go for list interface as well as and i want to hold up a duplicate elements whereas insertion order is preserved then go for what list so more in detail and elaborately i i explain in the next videos list is an interface which can hold up both homogeneous as well as heterogeneous elements and list also can hold up what duplicate elements and in the list term insertion order is preserved so i don't want duplicates in this case so he's asking the remove duplicate elements right now see here what i'm doing now see here what i'm doing i'm writing the first way i'm writing now let me create a hash set because set doesn't allow what duplicates set is an interface which is a child interface of collection interface set doesn't allow what duplicates and insertion order is based on hash code of the objects now see here what i'm doing set to set is equal to new hash set new hash set now it's asking this hash set is from where put the cursor set is from java dot util now see here what i'm doing so hash set doesn't allow any value so iterate one by one get one by one element from this list and add into what set then set doesn't allow what any elements right see here what i'm doing set to dot set to dot add and of what you want to add it element now can you people tell me now set allows any duplicate elements never it won't allow any duplicate element simply if any duplicate elements it removes what duplicate elements as we are adding all the elements to the what set now after removing duplicates duplicates plus set to dot size this is one approach this is one approach so i created hash set object by using set interface reference as we know that uh, set doesn't allow what uh, duplicates so i am getting one by one from this list uh, using for each loop and i am adding all those elements to the what uh, set so this is one approach and the second approach is second approach second approach so lot of approaches are the second approach now see here let me create a set set is equal to new hash set new hash set now see here what i'm doing see here so in collection interface we are having a method called what is that method add all method now simply i'm adding what is that list so whenever i am adding all these elements to this set now if any duplicates there in this list all will be what removed we know that set doesn't allow any, any duplicate elements now see here yes why yes of oh, just to write this statement so in collection framework i explained in detail copy it right so this is one way and one more approach one more approach by performing interconversion between the collection objects now see here set to set is equal to new hash set hash set now see here what i'm doing now now see here i, am, I want to perform interconversion between the collection objects now say simply pass what list now all the duplicates will be removed uh, just to print what this one that's it now these are the three approaches to remove what duplicates so in our case in this drop down we don't have any duplicates so day 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 right so here no duplicates are there but if you have any really duplicates now uh, all duplicates will be removed run as java application
yes now see here see here so number of elements in the drop down is what 32 after removing duplicates is what 32 because uh, there is no duplicate elements in the where our drop down right yes well if any duplicates are there then sure it will be removed i said right every chrome devs are going to run on some port number yes this is the port number right so this is the way to remove duplicates from a drop down right so in the collection framework we discussed um, in detail so how to remove duplicate elements and how we can get back that remove duplicate elements i want to see the remove duplicate elements and all those things i explained as a part of collection framework right so thanks for watching the video have a good day thank you so much